Hey there, car enthusiasts. It's Jay Leno, and let's talk electric vehicles, EVs. They're not just the future anymore, they're here. More people are choosing EVs every day, and it's easy to see why. They're sleek, they're silent, and they're packed with technology. But let's be real, folks. When it comes to cars, one question always looms large. How much is this going to cost me? That's what we're diving into today. The cost of owning an EV versus a good old-fashioned gasoline car. It's a hot topic, and for good reason. Understanding the costs involved is crucial if you're thinking about going electric. So, buckle up as we break it all down, from the initial price tag to those everyday expenses. By the end, you'll have the knowledge to decide if an EV fits your budget and your lifestyle. Let's get this show on the road. All right, let's talk numbers. When it comes to buying a car, the initial cost can be a major factor in your decision-making process. It's important to understand what you're getting into financially before making a commitment. No one likes sticker shock, right? That moment when you see the price and your jaw drops. It's a common experience, but it doesn't have to be a deal breaker. When you walk into a dealership, the first thing you see is the price tag. It's the most obvious cost, but it's not the only one you should consider. And yes, it's true. EVs tend to have a higher upfront cost than comparable gasoline cars. This can be a bit daunting at first glance. Think of it like this, EVs are still relatively new to the market. The technology is advanced and still evolving which means the initial investment is higher. That cutting-edge technology comes with a price premium. You're paying for innovation, efficiency, and a glimpse into the future of transportation. But here's the good news, those prices are dropping. As the technology matures and becomes more widespread, the costs are coming down. As battery technology improves and production scales up, EVs are becoming more affordable. This trend is expected to continue making EVs more accessible to a broader audience. You can find EVs in a range of prices these days. From budget-friendly options to high-end luxury models, there's something for everyone. Some popular models start around $30,000, which is quite competitive when you consider the long-term savings on fuel and maintenance. While luxury EVs can go well into six figures, these high-end models offer premium features, advanced technology, and a driving experience that's hard to match. Gasoline cars, on the other hand, offer a wider price range. You can find something to fit almost any budget, from economy models to high-performance sports cars, with some starting under $20,000. These budget-friendly options are great for those looking to save on the initial purchase. The point is, don't let the initial price tag scare you off just yet. There's more to consider than just the upfront cost. There's more to the cost equation than meets the eye. Beyond the sticker price, you need to think about the total cost of ownership. We've got to factor in all those other expenses that come with owning a car, like insurance, maintenance, fuel, and depreciation. And that's where things get really interesting. When you start to add up these costs, the picture can change dramatically. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the true cost of owning a car and how EVs and gasoline cars compare over the long run. You might be surprised at what you find. Now let's talk shop, folks. Every car needs a little TLC, right? But here's the thing. EVs are way easier and cheaper to maintain than gasoline cars. And I'm not talking about a small difference, I'm talking about significant savings over the life of your vehicle. Think about it. EVs have fewer moving parts, no engine, no transmission, no exhaust system. That's a whole lot less that can go wrong. No more oil changes, no more spark plug replacements, no more dealing with those pesky timing belts. With an EV, your maintenance is pretty basic. Tire rotations, brake pad replacements, and the occasional software update. That's it. You're looking at hundreds of dollars in savings per year compared to maintaining a gasoline car. So, while the initial purchase price of an EV might be higher, those lower maintenance costs start to add up quickly. It's all about the long game, folks, and EVs are in it to win it. Section 4. Filling the tank electricity versus gasoline. Let's face it, folks, we all feel the pinch at the pump. Gas prices have a way of putting a dent in our wallets. But here's where EVs really shine. Fueling up with electricity is significantly cheaper than filling up with gasoline. Think about it this way. Instead of relying on volatile gas prices, you're plugging into the electric grid. And depending on where you live, your electricity rates are likely much more stable and affordable. On average, you can expect to pay about half as much to drive an EV the same distance as a gasoline car. That's right, half as much. Imagine the savings over time. Those daily commutes, those weekend road trips, they all become more affordable. 
Plus, many EV owners install home chargers, which can save you even more money. And if you're lucky enough to have access to free charging stations, well, then you're really in the driver's seat. Section 5. Sweet Deals, Incentives, and Rebates for EVs Now here's where things get really interesting. Governments and manufacturers are eager to get more EVs on the road, and they're putting their money where their mouth is. That means sweet deals for you. We're talking about tax credits, rebates, and other incentives that can significantly reduce the upfront cost of an EV. These incentives vary depending on where you live and what model you choose, but they can be substantial. For example, the federal government offers a tax credit of up to $7,500 for qualified EVs. On top of that, many states offer their own incentives, which can range from a few hundred dollars to several thousand dollars. And let's not forget about the manufacturers. They often offer special lease deals and financing options to make EVs more accessible. So, be sure to do your research and explore all the available incentives before making a decision. Section 6. The Long Game Total Cost of Ownership Alright folks, let's bring it all together. We've covered a lot of ground so far, and now it's time to see how it all adds up. We've talked about the initial purchase price, the lower maintenance costs, the fuel savings, and the sweet incentives. Each of these factors plays a crucial role in the overall financial picture. Now it's time to look at the big picture, the total cost of ownership. This is the comprehensive cost of owning a vehicle over its entire lifespan. The total cost of ownership. This includes everything from the purchase price to maintenance, fuel, insurance, and even depreciation. This is where EVs really start to pull ahead. When you consider all these factors together, the financial benefits of electric vehicles become even more apparent. Yes, they might have a higher upfront cost, which can be a deterrent for some buyers initially. But over the long haul, the story changes dramatically. They can save you a significant amount of money, we're talking thousands, even tens of thousands of dollars, over the life of your vehicle. These savings come from various sources, even tens of thousands of dollars over the life of your vehicle. Think about it, those lower maintenance costs and fuel savings add up year after year. Those lower maintenance costs and fuel savings add up year after year. Electric vehicles have fewer moving parts, which means fewer things can go wrong. And when you factor in the incentives, such as tax credits, rebates, and other financial perks, the overall cost becomes even more attractive. The break-even point, the point at which the total cost of owning an EV becomes less than owning a gasoline car, can arrive surprisingly quickly. For many, this point can be reached within just a few years. Of course, the exact break-even point will vary depending on your driving habits, the specific EV and gasoline car you're comparing, and the available incentives in your area. The specific EV and gasoline car you're comparing, and the available incentives in your area. It's important to do your research and consider all these variables, and the available incentives in your area. But the trend is clear. EVs are becoming increasingly cost-competitive over the long term. But the trend is clear, EVs are becoming increasingly cost-competitive over the long term. As technology advances and economies of scale kick in, the cost of batteries and other components continues to drop. EVs are becoming increasingly cost-competitive over the long term. So when you're thinking about your next vehicle, remember to look beyond the sticker price. Consider the total cost of ownership and the long-term savings that an electric vehicle can offer. Section 7, EV or gas, making the right choice for you. So, there you have it folks. We've taken a deep dive into the costs of owning an EV versus a gasoline car. As you can see it's not as simple as looking at the sticker price. EVs offer significant savings in terms of maintenance, fuel, and incentives. Over the long haul they can be a more cost-effective option especially as battery technology improves and prices continue to drop. But at the end of the day, the best choice for you depends on your individual needs and circumstances. Consider your driving habits, your budget, and your priorities. If you're looking for a car that's cheap to maintain, fuel-efficient, and environmentally friendly, an EV might be the perfect fit. But if you prioritize a lower upfront cost or frequently drive long distances, a gasoline car might still be the better option. The important thing is to be informed, weigh your options carefully, and choose the car that best suits your lifestyle. And hey, who knows? Maybe you'll join the growing ranks of EV enthusiasts out there. Happy driving! Let's delve a bit deeper into the specifics. One of the most significant advantages of EVs is the convenience of charging at home. Imagine never having to stop at a gas station again. 
you can simply plug in your car overnight and wake up to a full charge. This can be a game changer for many, especially those with busy schedules. Plus, with the increasing number of public charging stations, long trips are becoming more feasible for EV owners. On the other hand, gasoline cars have the advantage of a well-established refueling infrastructure. You can find a gas station almost anywhere, making long-distance travel more straightforward without the need to plan charging stops. Another point to consider is the environmental impact. EVs produce zero tailpipe emissions, which means they are much better for the environment, especially in urban areas where air quality can be a significant concern. Gasoline cars, however, still contribute to air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. If reducing your carbon footprint is a priority, an EV is the clear winner. But let's not forget about the driving experience. EVs are known for their smooth and quiet ride, instant torque, and advanced technology features. Many drivers find them more enjoyable to drive compared to traditional gasoline cars. Gasoline cars, on the other hand, often offer a more familiar driving experience and can be more fun for those who enjoy the sound and feel of a traditional engine. Ultimately, the decision between an EV and a gasoline car comes down to what you value most in a vehicle. Whether it's cost savings, environmental impact, convenience, or driving pleasure, there's a lot to consider. Take your time, do your research, and test drive both types of vehicles if you can. The right choice for you is out there, and it's worth the effort to find it. So whether you end up with an EV or a gasoline car, make sure it fits your lifestyle and brings you joy. Happy driving!